it's me, Xcanadensis, and I forgot to film an intro for this um, doll hunt, so here it is. <laughs> I wanted you to see my new shoes, and this was a clip I recorded so I could take pictures from it to send to my mom. So, here you go. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm currently at uh, Fossil Quarry, and um, I'm here on a field trip for school, because I'm a grad student, so I like supervise stuff. Um, and it's done, so I'm going to be going doll hunting now because we're actually really close to my favorite thrift store And then I'm gonna go into town to a few others I'm gonna try to buy Brad a surprise because he's been feeling down and then we're gonna go home So this will be a fun toy hunt and then tomorrow I'll be here again actually for a Craigslist pickup. I didn't realize we were gonna get out of the field trip so early so <laughs> I would have been able to pick up the Craigslist stuff today, but it's totally fine. I don't want to be like hey change of plans again So I will see you at the thrift store actually that art that art yeah you want the bat cave dog yeah. you want a bunch of the same mcdonald's toy of joy oh, half a second pause we're in yes that's not good there's a bear and a bunny it's a little different Someone bought the monkey. Jeff, yeah, who bought that? Why? Not me, which is the sad part. It's rainbow fish. This is mine. It's not shiny anymore, but maybe I can fix it with my hair. Barbara's bathtub. Big 
Willow's pet shop. This looks kind of busted, to be honest. Enchantimals. Which one is that? The owl? I actually don't have this one, but she doesn't have her shoes. Busted for something I drove an hour and a half for. It just says giant. I was so excited when I saw those monster high dolls. No, because we've been here so many oh. times. Bollywood D, and she has part of her stuff. We've been here so many times. Before. What is that? You have the video on? Yeah. What is that? Oh. 
for electronic. What kind of doll is that? She's so weird. I like her clothes. Oh, sweet. I still have her from when I was a kid, but I don't have her skirt. And now I will. Score bow. I'm bringing it back, though. This is so many new ones, I'm really shocked. I guess it's been like two weeks. Oh, no way! That's the one I came back for and she was gone. Brietta. <laughs> oh, Barbie video game superheroes. I feel like I'm just manhandling them. The lady at the Savers earlier, when she was like checking out all the dolls, she she picked up one of them by the head and then she like apologized and put it in the <laughs> It was really weird. Apologized to the doll? Yeah, to the doll. I was like, they don't mind. I apologize to mine all the time. No, I think it's like a human thing. Because they look like human. Yeah. But I'm specifically not normal. So I wouldn't expect it. <laughs> right, we gotta... Oh my god, I can't believe I found the Brietta. Where was she this whole time? That means she never sold. You sure it's the same one? I don't know. The dress seems different. It's a cute bundle. No babies. Is this all babies? Oh, that way. No, see? They're hidden. They're on their way, babies. This is all old stuff. Okay. Well, I'm definitely getting Brietta. Oh, there's my wallet. <laughs> I don't know whose dress this is, but I'm... How much are you? I'm gonna regret this later, but can y'all tell me whose dress this is? Okay, and then... I want Bollywood D, but she's like really dirty and doesn't have anything. So I'm gonna get these three. Brietta, the Sparkle Fairy, and then this Frankie's awesome. American Girl clothes. How much is that? Eight dollars? Mm. The deal. Yay. Good. This is great, yeah. I kind of want it, but I can't justify it. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today I have an enormous haul from thrifting. This is one of the biggest just, or yeah, this is probably one of the biggest thrift, stall, thrift hauls I've ever had just from going to the thrift store and buying things. Usually I don't buy a lot of stuff at the actual thrift store. I usually buy things on like Facebook Marketplace or at garage sales or flea markets, I'll buy more things. But generally at thrift, thrift stores, I don't. But they just had so much stuff today, y'all. Uh, so I'm gonna show you everything. First, the stuff that's not in the bag. I found this at one of the savers. It's rainbow fish, and this is so cool. This is so a product of its time. Just, what even is this for? I love it. I love it. There's no merch of rainbow fish. I have, I, maybe there is. I have a picture frame that I found at a thrift store once, and then I have my books from when I was a kid, and that's it. And this is actually super cute, too, because the rainbow, or, like, the shiny scales that he has are actually shiny. I really love this. It's so cool, and it, it just reminds me so much of, like, one of those things my grandma had in her trailer for whatever reason. Like, I don't know. I really love this. And I'm going to throw it in the wash, of course. And uh, we'll figure out where to put it. <laughs> Brett was like, that's the character you have in our bathroom. Because I have a little picture frame. And I'm like, yeah, that's the bathroom fish. <laughs> All right, next. This is something I bought weeks ago. And it was still in Brett's car. But it's this Monster High message board. It's like a dry erase board. But it has all this, like, lights and stuff. I think this is really cool. So showing it to you now <laughs> because I forgot to last time. All right, next we've got Barbie furniture. I got this stuff at Kid to Kid. This was $8, which is a little bit steep for a thrift store, but it's a really good price for what the pieces are. So first, this is like a little oops, tiny spoon. <laughs> this is like a big piece of like a kitchen. 
And this is the like the oven door. There's this little cabinet door, this shelf for the oven. There's another like little utensil down there. So it has mostly everything. It's just missing whatever goes on the wall, but that all that all could be in here in a little microwave. I have so much more kitchen stuff for Barbies than any other room. I just love Barbie kitchen stuff. It's really fun, but I would like to get other other rooms as well. <laughs> All right, next we have the fridge, which is taped shut because I hopefully it has all the, um, the stuff in it. So this is probably my best Barbie fridge so far. It has a little water dispenser. Obviously, it doesn't actually dispense water. And then this thing, I don't know what it does. Let's open the fridge now, see what we have. Cool, it has all the shelves. Yeah, this is awesome. It looks like this opens. Oh, it has like a mini door that you can get your drinks out of. Yeah, okay, so this is my best Barbie fridge. Definitely my most complete one. Look at the little ice maker. Ah, uh, this one's great. And I like that it's not like <laughs> blindingly hot pink. It's a nice neutral fridge color. I appreciate that. It's also not really yellowed at all. I, I like this piece a lot. I assume these two go to the same set just because the pink matches. And then we have this, which I feel like is completely separate, but maybe it isn't. It's this chair, and it has a lot of little accessories in with it. So I'm going to try to dump them out without getting them everywhere. Oh, they're just all up in the back of the chair for some reason. Sorry. I'm trying to get them all out. Okay. So this is the chair. I have no idea. It just looks like maybe like a birthday party chair with like the legs covered in the cloth. I don't really know, but it's cute. I'm just, I have so many singular doll chairs that don't have their pairs. Like, I'm most doll chairs come in sets that, like, match, and I just have, like, one from each set, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> All right, and then I have a bunch of random accessories, like these scissors, which I, mm, awesome. This little bag. Another tiny spoon. Comb. I don't honestly know. A decorative bottle, maybe? Not Aunt Jemima! It like, actually has a little sticker on it. A hot dog that you can actually remove the wiener. A little hairbrush. A little glass. I love little <laughs> doll food and stuff. These are hamburger patties. This little juice or something. I actually already have this. Um... They're wieners, but they're the wrong color. I don't know. <gasps> French fries! Yes! Love that. This soda bottle. Sorry if my nails are, like, not as nice as usual. I went on that field trip earlier. Little medicine bottle. And then... There's one more in here. Another wiener or hot dog. Um, absolutely no idea what that is. And then more little utensils and applesauce jar. So that's it for the little furniture, but there's actually another thing of furniture in here. This is going to be its own video, but you'll see that later. I got that in the mail today. All right. More doll furniture. I got this stuff at Savers for $4, so that was a better deal. Well, I don't know. It depends on the pieces, but this is a little bathtub. This needs cleaned, but I love this. It's very natural. It it also mirrors the problem that I have with bathtubs. That like, for adults, you can just sit in the bathtub and that's it. This is actually clearly not a Barbie bathtub. I wonder what this goes to. It doesn't have any brand information. I don't know. I really like it. It would look good in a display, but I guess you can't actually put the dolls in it, unfortunately. And then this piece I was really excited about this is great. It looks like it's supposed to have cushions, but I could, like, make some. It doesn't- it's not branded either, but, like, isn't this gorgeous? I love this. Love. Love it. And then, this one. You can never have enough doll furniture, especially chairs. And this one is Barbie, and it's clearly, like, a- maybe, like, a patio seat. Outdoor couch. I like this. All right. Um, now the rest of what's in the bag is actual dolls that I bought. Look how big this receipt is, by the way. <laughs> All right. So this is a doll I got at Kid to Kid. 
Did y'all in that clip when I opened when I saw those Monster High dolls and just about like passed out and then there were n like none that I wanted except this one. Uh, there were several doll outfits that I wanted, but the dolls weren't in there. That was such a shame. But here is the frightfully tall Frankie. I was honestly contemplating leaving her behind. I have found these at thrift stores before. She doesn't have her shoes. She was six dollars, which again is a little much for something that's not complete for me, but she has her hands. So someday if I happen to find one with her shoes but not her hands, I can like Frankenstein ha <laughs> one together. Uh, and she actually has, I'm pretty sure these are like my scene or Barbie earrings, so I thought that was kind of funny too. But she's really, really pretty, and these dolls are really nice. They're great for customs too. I don't know what I'm going to do with her yet, but she'll be fine on display even without her shoes. They're absolutely beautiful dolls, so I'm happy with it. I wonder where the kids are losing their shoes, you know? Like, there's no other dolls you can be trading them with except the other frights frightfully tall monsters. I don't know. All right, next. Oh my gosh, this was so exciting. I hope in the clip you could see how floored I was. Brianna! This was a saga. I made a video, I think like three doll hunts ago, where I found her, and I held her up to the camera, and I think I like voiced over that part, but in the actual clip, I'm like, I recognize her. She looks familiar. I wonder who she is. And then I like asked, and then I set her aside, and all of you guys were like, that's Brianna! And I know this is Brietta. I just didn't really look that hard. I wasn't paying that much attention. So I was so, I was like, oh no. And I went back probably like two days later because I had another thing in town and she was gone. And I was so sad. And I've been back to that store multiple times since then. And then mysteriously today she was there again. So that's cool. She's actually missing some hair plugs. She's gonna need a lot of work, but I'm so happy to have her because I already have her sister and I don't really need her dress, but big Barbie dresses are actually super common secondhand, so who knows, I could get lucky, but even if not, I could get her another very flouncy pretty dress, and she'll look great. I actually like the dress that she's wearing, although it seems that this is just yarn or, like, um, embroidery floss that the previous owner tied to, like, make the dress fit her better, so I don't think the dress would be as pretty without that, but I actually really like it. So, yay for Brietta! Really was not expecting her, so that was really cool. Next, this one I got because this is actually a doll I had as a kid. I had this only this sparkle fairy. She was four dollars and I just need the skirt. But this one's in way better condition than mine, so this will probably be my display one. But mine is complete minus the skirt and the shoes. So now we have the skirt. We still need the shoes, but Barbie shoes mostly are like reused, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and I do still have her wings all this time. They're not great, but I'm just gonna put her wings on and it'll be great. I really like these dolls. I'd love to get the other two. The purple and the blue ones. So cute! Okay. Next we have... Alright, so now we get into the Lottie Dawes. I've been wanting to collect Lottie Daw because when I... This was before I was actually making doll videos, but in 2011 when I started collecting dolls, the maybe 20... I sw was it 2011? I feel like it was 2011, but... My first doll that I bought as a collector, even though I was like 12 years old, was the Sweet Party Cyan doll from Lottie Daw because she reminded me of my favorite My Little Pony, Minty. So I kind of justified in my head, I'm collecting My Little Pony. She's inspired, or like she seems inspired by my favorite My Little Pony, so it'll work. Um, and that's what like finally s snowballed into the doll collection, which I am much happier with. I really love my doll collection. I still love my ponies, don't get me wrong, but the dolls are like truly what makes me happy and inspires me the most. Um, and Lottie Daw holds a special place in my heart because of that, but I never ended up getting more. So I was really happy to find them at the thrift store today. So here we have this D doll. I have no idea. Maybe this is the pop art line. I don't like to do a lot of research on dolls that I don't have because it just makes me sad and it makes me want them. So I try not to. So I'm pretty sure this is, there was like a art line, like, well, they were all art lines. I just, I also really love the theming of Lottie Daw. I know most doll lines have some kind of fashion design element, but Lottie Daw was like, literally, we are friends who are fashion designers and that is what we're doing and that is why this doll line exists. And I loved, because I wasn't a doll collector, when I got that Cyan doll and she had that little booklet and I thought that was so cool and she had all those little accessories, so fun. And this doll is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to fix her hair up, but it's already pretty much perfect. It just needs like, conditioned. And the dress is really nice, too. Oh, and one of the things about Lottie Daw that actually stopped me from buying them was 
You know that original D doll, the like I Love New York one, or one of the D dolls had like special something special you could do, like you could transform her skirt and all this stuff like her outfit had a lot of different details that you could change and that was a gimmick of only that doll but for some reason in my head I was like that's the Lottie doll gimmick all the dolls do that and I was really bummed that the one that I got didn't do it <laughs> I was pretty young all right next oh I just got these because they're so charming to me um and I find strawberry shortcake dolls relatively often at the, the thrift store and they're so cute and this time they came home she smells so good. So this is the grape one. I actually have no idea what this character is because I haven't watched Strawberry Shortcake in so many years. But when I was a kid, I really wanted some and my mom hated the dolls from when she was a kid. So she was like, no. <laughs> um, and these look so much like them. They're really cute. I don't honestly know if these are the ones from the 2000s or the 2010s, but regardless, they remind me of the ones from the 2000s, which are the ones that I wanted. And she is super cute. So... Um, yeah. And then this one, I believe, is Lemon Meringue. And Lemon Meringue is actually wearing one of the other one's shoes, I think. Let me see. Yeah, she is. So, I have both of the shoes for the grape one. If if she's grape, I assume she is, because she's purple. But the, the grape guy was the villain, right? Or was he, like, a pie man. I don't remember. I had the toy of him, though. I actually used to have a pretty impressive Strawberry Shortcake 80s collection, but my dad owned a toy store at the time, and he was like, I guess he assumed I didn't like them or I didn't enjoy them, so he just kind of took them one day and sold them, and I just didn't know how to be like, no, wait, I, I want those. So they're gone. <laughs> um, and that's kind of made me avoid collecting Strawberry Shortcake ever since, because it made me feel sad that mine were gone. But I really like these ones. So, like, this era I would love to collect. So, there they are. And I have one pair of their shoes. I would not have gotten them if I did not see that there was one pair of shoes in here. Uh, and then there's another singular shoe. I just think they're cute. And I find them relatively often, so I think I can start thrift collecting them. In this bag. Woo! -hoo. Next. This one was a weird one. So... We have the New York D, I believe that's which one this is. Yeah, she has the Statue of Liberty makeup. And she's nude, unfortunately. I really wanted this doll, though, when she came out, so I would. I really hope I can get her outfit, or at least just another one complete. They're so pretty. Another thing was I really wanted pull-up dolls at the time, and they reminded me a lot of pull-up dolls. Um, just because of their big, big eyes and stuff. So there she is. It was she, Her name was like, I love New York, right? And then this Megana Broomsticks doll... So I wouldn't have gotten the bag if it was just Megana or if it was just the Lottie Daw doll, but with both in there, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Um, I would love to do a video fixing her hair because she really needs it. Oh, she still has her hat. Um, I hope I can find her outfit. If I don't, I'm sure I'll just find another one with her outfit already on. I just love the Bratzilla's dolls. I think they're absolutely incredibly gorgeous. There were so many beautiful dolls out on the, at the time, and I was young. I didn't have money to collect like I do now, so <laughs> I missed out on so many amazing dolls. And that's why I like thrifting, because I'm getting the chance to get them all back. And this was a great early 2010s haul today, actually. Next. Okay, so this one was kind of random. I think this is Dragon Games Holly. Don't 100% know. All right, here is a Dragon Games Holly. I was right. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. I was like, I don't want to get yelled at. And she is so beautiful. It seems like I just have really good luck at this specific thrift store for Ever After High, which is great. <laughs> and she is so awesome. She's, like, basically complete, if not totally complete. I can't really tell. She doesn't actually have pierced ears. She's so cool. I'm actually really impressed by... Because Monster High and Ever After High dolls are very high-quality, nice dolls, but they often don't have super different fabrics and stuff used, different construction of the material, or different um, construction of the pieces usually is not super creative on them. So I'm really impressed by this doll with like this different fabric and these really elaborate leggings and these boots with painted details, which you rarely saw from Monster Never After High. And she's really pretty. Her face is actually squashed and has a lot of stuff on it. And her hair definitely would benefit a lot from a boil wash and a nice conditioning and washing. So That'll be really nice. Y'all have been wanting, like, Ever After and Monster High dolls to be restored by me. That was a weird way to phrase that sentence. Did you just hear Brett sneeze? Bless you! Oh, <laughs> he's right above my head, actually. 
Um, so maybe she can be a part of that video. But yeah, I'm really excited about her. She was one of the first ones I grabbed, I believe. God, that first thrift store that I went to was a frenzy for me. Brett wasn't with me at the time. I went home and got him after that. But like, there were so many people there that day. It was so busy and I was like, mine, mine, mine. That day, it was today, it was this morning. But like, I, I saw these Adi and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And never after that, I'm like, ooh. It was a lot. <laughs> All right, next, oh yeah. We've got this Eevee doll. I believe this is Jubilee Eevee, but I'm not super familiar with the looks from the animated series because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since it came out. Uh, oh, they're so cute. Or she's so cute, sorry. Yeah, it's definitely Jubilee because of this. I love Eevee. She's my favorite. I really think the original, as much as I understand people's complaints with the later Descendants dolls, like Descendants 2 and 3 dolls, I think the quality on the Descendants 1 and the um, Descendants series dolls was really good. Like, best of the best of what Hasbro can possibly offer. They're so nice, and I love the mold, and the, the face paint, and the face molds, and the body molds, and even just the delicate shape of the hands. They're just so pretty, and they used good fabrics, and they constructed them really nicely. This is just a really nice doll, and I'm always happy to add more Descendants dolls to my collection. I do really like them, and I liked the movies, so I'm happy to have more. All right, next. Okay, so I do have this um, Cloetta already, and mine is basically this complete. I think mine was missing the shoes, but mine has the dress already, and that's it. So. <laughs> I just have another Cloetta that's equally incomplete now. But again, it's a Bratzilla's doll. I do actually need the shoes. If these aren't Megana's shoes, I'm thinking they might actually be Megana's shoes. They just don't look like they go with Jade's out. Yeah, I think. So now I have Megana's shoes. <laughs> I wasn't even paying that much attention in the store. Her hair needs help. My other one actually is still not great either. Uh, but it's a Bratzilla's doll, so couldn't leave her. I actually rarely see them even nude at the thrift store, to be honest. Okay, this doll I picked up because usually when I find a unique doll and I don't pick them up, I'm really wrong. And I need to go back for them, but they're gone. And this doll, she's wearing a Barbie dress, but she just looks so vaguely familiar to me. And every time I see a doll that's familiar enough and I don't know who they are, I regret not getting her. So let's kind of look into this. Ohio Boutique. Does that say chic? I really can't read. That's embarrassing. I read that as Ohio Boutique. <laughs> I, okay, I thought she was one of those, like, high glam long legs dolls, but I couldn't really see the legs. What does she go to? What a strange doll. She's, like, pretty. Chic Boutique. It's probably literally called a Chic Boutique doll, in which case I've never heard of it. Ubiquitous but mysterious. A doll manufacturer with several inexpensive doll series sold. Okay, so they're just kind of clone dolls. Fine by me. She's really pretty, and I'm happy with her. I just, she looks so unique and, like, distinct. Very interesting. If y'all know anything about these dolls and have, like, a picture of, like, this outfit, or the outfit that goes to this one, let me know. But isn't her face just pretty? Happy to have her. Thought she was pretty. I didn't think she was a clone doll, though. She really doesn't look like one. All right. Next is another Lottie Da doll. This one is Sloane. I believe this is the Red Riding Hood one. No, that wouldn't make sense. She would probably have a hood. I thought that's what she was, though. I don't remember. I'll probably put an annotation. Um, but I really wanted the, um, the Snow Queen and the Frog Princess and the Rapunzel from this line. I guess Sloane was the one that got left out of my the ones that I really liked. Um, it's just because the inspiration for hers wasn't my favorite or something. Um, I don't know what she's supposed to be. I can't really tell just from the outfit here. But she looks really good. This is actually my first Sloan doll. I have one Dots of Style D who's very incomplete. Um, I have Sweet Party Cyan that Andre got for me for Christmas. And I have that D. <laughs> and that's it so far. So this is my first Sloan. And I'm happy with her because she seems to be mostly complete, if not completely complete. And I love these shoes. Look at these clear heels. So cute. Really like her. And her makeup's so pretty. I really love Lottie Dada dolls. This is so cool. 
I forgot how much I liked how their hair felt. It's so nice. I need to find my, um, my original Sweet Party Cyan doll. Poor thing. She's so rough. Okay. Last one. We have... I believe this one is Tylee. I'm not 100% sure because I think they changed the eye color for this line, but it's the... They had two lines that were called, like, Juicy Crap? No. Juice something. But this is the grape juice one. We got two grape dolls, if this doll is actually that. She's so pretty. I really love her hair color. Um, and if this is Tylee, she's my first one, which is great. And it's so weird because at that Kid to Kid I went to, they also had the Bollywood D, which is a doll I really want, but I need her stuff. Like this doll, I'm fine not having her shoes. I'll find something that's an adequate replacement. But with the Bollywood D, I need all the pieces. Uh, and this doll's really pretty. I really like the hair color. It's actually the exact color that Liv used in a wig. So kind of a fun. It was around the same time too, actually. She's just really pretty. I really like this dress. I also really liked this line. There was a watermelon one that I really wanted. Um, and I saw I saw pictures of prototypes for um, one of the juice lines. Like they were gonna do another one. And they were, the Tylee in that line was like, not the Tylee, the Sloan was so pretty. <laughs> um, So yeah, that's it for my haul today. Very, my early childhood, not early. Well, I guess it is my childhood. I was like 12, but my early collector days really well represented here with all the Lottie da and then we have like childhood dolls too like I had Magic of Pegasus dolls and I had Fairytopia this is just like a really fun haul for me Bratzilla's I missed out on when I was an early collector as well um oh forgot to show you the he was just so cute this is a Ty Ty made like bigger cats or like bigger stuffed animals too and this is one of them and he's just really soft. He needs to go into the washer, though, so I'm not going to touch on him too much. I don't want to get sick. Um, he was just really soft, and he looked so sweet, so I couldn't leave him behind. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and yeah. <laughs> Bye.